Lake Rescue Association is a uh, 501c3 charity that is comprised of people who are interested in the lakes region, primarily Lake Rescue and Lake Pauline and Ludlow. A lot of the people are homeowners. Um, some of them are people that have uh, rental properties like Airbnbs or vacation by owner. It's about 150 members. Lake Rescue is a tributary to, uh, to the uh, Black River. And so the Black River flows from Echo Lake down into Lake Rescue and then into Lake Pauline. And one of the things that we found is there's more and more sediment coming down the Black River and it's, um, it's changing the lake level. And there's a channel between Round Pond behind me here and the larger Lake Rescue that, uh, that over the last 10 years has just kind of filled in it. So here on Lake Rescue, we've had a big problem for over 10 years with this uh, invasive um, water plant called Eurasian milfoil. And it came in probably on a boat or a trailer for someplace else, and then it takes root in the lake bottom, and then it grows. And the problem with milfoil is, is uh, it's not native to the, the lake here, and if it goes unchecked, it literally can grow to the point where it becomes a swamp. It chokes out the lake. You wouldn't be able to swim, you wouldn't be able to boat. Um, a kayak couldn't get through it. There are several lakes in Vermont that have been ruined on that. If you go on sections of Lake uh, Balmazine, uh, for instance, uh, Lake St. Catherine, uh, Star Lake here locally, uh, those are lakes that have had a big problem. So what we've been doing is fighting it through a variety of methods. Um, the Lake Rescue Association supports uh, a greeter program where we have a person that sits here on the boat ramp on fishing access and inspects boats and trailers and kayaks coming in to make sure that they don't have the milfoil plant from another water body. And then also looks as people are coming out to make sure they don't uh, go in and, you know, put it in some other water bodies. We have some divers that, that are here every week. They spend several hundred hours every summer hand harvesting the milfoil plants where they, uh, you know, dive down in scuba gear and hand harvest the root ball of the plants and put it in a bag and dispose of it. And then this year, um, the problem is the worst it's been in 20 years. So many people because of COVID are, are boating there aren't other activities for them to do. And so what's happened is, is the boats go through the water, they chop the plants up, the bits and pieces of the plants that are chopped up go and propagate and grow. It's a big, big problem. And we reached a tipping point this year um, where um, for the, you know, for the first time, our hand harvesting wasn't enough to control it. And now we've contracted with this company to, uh, to uh, help us with the suction harvesting because it's got, the infestation's got so bad. Do I have bumpers out on that side? You do. Uh, some guys never take them in. <laughs> So we hired what's called a diver assisted suction harvesting boat. It's a, a pontoon work boat that has a large pump and hose on it. And uh, a diver gets in the water with this uh, four inch inlet hose and vacuums up the milfoil plants. And it comes through the pump and deposits the vegetation on a, on a table. And then the other operator scoops that stuff into bins and then we go and dispose of it. And uh, we removed over 9,000 gallons of milfoil from uh, Lake Rescue. And uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's just so important. It's an expensive endeavor. This year, the Lake Rescue Association will have spent uh, over $60,000 on milfoil mitigation. And you know, uh, it's probably gonna be more next year. We've got a big problem. We 
have to do a, a great deal of fundraising. Um, you know, the, the, the dash boat that we hired this week was $1,600 a day. And we quickly did the math and we think we can build our own boat for about $25,000. So our board just took a vote at our meeting last week to build a dash harvesting boat for Lake Rescue. It'll be built over the course of, of uh, the winter and it'll be ready to deploy in June or July uh, next year. That boat costs about $25,000. And uh, you know, we have some money in our treasury, but not enough and so we'll have to fundraise for that. The other big problem that we work on on Lake Rescue is sedimentation problems and uh, you know the the watershed here in in this area has a big problem with sedimentation coming down. We got a permit from the Department of Environmental Conservation to uh, dredge. The permit's good for five years and um, it's going to cost about $125,000 to $150,000 to do that dredging. Uh, we have experience in doing that. We did it 10 years ago after the superstorm, but it's time to do it again. And so we've got the permit. The permit's good for five years. Now we have to raise the money to be able to do the dredging. This is a beautiful lake, and if we don't take care of the milfoil, we don't take care of the dredging, the utility for everybody doesn't work. The fishermen who come from all over the state to fish on this lake, the, the people who live here who, um, you know, enjoy having uh, homes on the lakeshore. I, I will tell you that both the sedimentation and the milfoil is an existential threat to the vitality of this lake. If we don't take care of these problems, uh, we won't have a lake to use.